Good afternoon. First Minister Alex Salmond had to run the gauntlet of demonstrators this morning opposed to Aberdeen City Council's package of service cuts. He was lobbied by angry residents outside a local supermarket while on his way to a media engagement. Louise Cowie has the story. The First Minister got more than he bargained for when he visited an Aberdeen supermarket this morning. Alex Salmond was lobbied by protesters opposed to council plans to close primary schools, charitable organisations and leisure facilities throughout the city. It's the latest in a string of demonstrations against the Lib Dem SNP administration's proposed cuts, which are designed to make £27 million worth of savings. My son's school is under threat of closure. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's an absolute disgrace. We want to save the schools. We want to save the ice skating, the swimming pool, Glencroft. We want to save Aberdeen. It's closing. Mr Salmon told the protesters that the issues are for the council to work through. The council has to decide how to balance its books. Uh, but, you know, obviously every government, whether it's local or, or national government, has to live within its means. Uh, but the, you know, the people are entitled to put forward their views on school provision or anything else. And uh, the council will have to, to meet with them, discuss with them, go through the consultation period and, and see how they can... They can resolve that. Campaigners have vowed to stage further protests like today's in a bid to save their city's services. Louise Cowie, STV News. On North tonight, the First Minister has become embroiled in the row over Aberdeen City Council's multi million pound cutbacks. Alex Salmond was forced to run the gauntlet of protesters at a media engagement in the city. Meanwhile, the council are facing legal action over their plans. First Minister Alex Salmond became embroiled in the row over Aberdeen City Council's multi-million pound budget cuts today. He was confronted by angry demonstrators outside a city supermarket. It comes as a disabled group prepared to sue the local authority. Lynn Stewart reports. The First Minister got a little more than he bargained for when he visited an Aberdeen supermarket this morning. Alex Salmond was ambushed by demonstrators protesting against council cutbacks. Primary schools, charitable organisations and leisure facilities across the city are all earmarked for closure. It's the latest in a string of demonstrations against the SNP Lib Dem administration's swinging budget cuts as it attempts to save £27 million. My son's school is under threat of closure. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's an absolute disgrace. We want to save the schools. We want to save the ice skating, the swimming pool, Glencroft. We want to save Aberdeen. It's closing. Mr Salmond hit out at the city's Labour politicians who are at the centre of the campaign against the cuts. I think folk are, are well capable of, of telling the difference between real people who are concerned about real services uh, and politicians who just want to, to uh, have an axe to grind against Aberdeen Council. And one thing that does disturb me about the Labour Party in Aberdeen as I understand it, they didn't put forward a budget at the council meeting. So if they had better ideas on what to do, and then maybe Frank Dorn and his colleagues could have put forward a budget. The public showed their anger by marking their cross in a referendum organised by the Conservatives at the weekend. Just 28 out of more than 1,100 people voted in favour of the cutbacks. Aberdeen is a city in financial crisis. The First Minister Alex Salmond was confronted by demonstrators protesting against Aberdeen City Council's widespread service cuts this morning. Members of protest group Save Our Schools were among those who asked Mr Salmond for his reaction to the Lib Dem SNP administration's planned cutbacks. There is widespread anger that primaries, charities and leisure facilities could close as the local authority tries to make £27 million worth of savings. Primarily, my son's school is under threat of closure. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's an absolute disgrace. We want to save the schools, we want to save the ice skating, the swimming pool, Glencroft. We want to save Aberdeen. It's closing. 